Hey everyone, I'm Jo Smith. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a playlist within an on-demand library or membership product. I'm also going to show you how to manage your playlists as well. Now, playlists are a fantastic way to group media, such as videos, so that you can showcase them to your students. So this could be a monthly or weekly challenge, this could be a series of videos, or it could be this week's workouts that you want your students to focus on. Now, the tutorial is about 10 minutes. So what I've done is I've included some timestamps in the description in case you wanna skip ahead. If you have a Marvelous account, then I encourage you to log in and join in with me so that you become more familiar with this feature, the platform and all of the settings. If you wanna join in, but you don't have a Marvelous account, I have included a sign up link within the description. Before we dive in, show the like button some love and remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so that you're kept up to date with all our latest videos. Radio, let's get started. To begin, head to products and then find the membership or on-demand product that you want to create a playlist within. Click edit product in the top right hand corner, then open up the content tab. All you need to do to create a playlist is start selecting the content you want to have grouped in your playlist. So you'll see here, I have a few videos, but I want to add three of them into a specific playlist. So what I'm going to do is select those three videos and you'll see at the bottom of the page here, it displays a bar that's asking me if I want to create a playlist. I'm going to continue selecting my content and then click create playlist. Firstly, I'm going to name my playlist. So I'm going to call my playlist this week's classes. And this is because I want my students to focus on a specific set of classes for this week. You have the option to give the playlist a cover photo. You can upload an image from your computer, embed a URL, use Unsplash or design with Canva. I'm going to design mine with Canva. You'll have the option to crop your image if you want. Canva is set at the correct dimensions, so in this case you'd click skip, but if you uploaded an image via one of the other options, when you click crop, it will bring up the image. You can resize the image so that it highlights a specific place in the image. If you want your playlist to display at the top of your media library within the included content tab, so that's the first thing your students see, then you select feature in included content. Once you've created your playlist, it will show in the section above the content that you have in your membership or on demand library. If you create multiple playlists, they will also show in this section. Right, so the playlist has been created. Let's preview our product page. So I'm here on the movement membership product page. We've got the about text, which you can see here. And then next to that included content and a new tab called playlists. And this is where all of your playlists will be displayed. However, I want to show you the way the featured playlist looks. So here it is. This is how a featured playlist is displayed in your included content section. You can see that this week's classes playlist is right here at the top of the page. And it's the first thing the student sees. And then the rest of your included content is underneath. So they can still go and find the other content if they want, but you really want them to focus on this specific series of classes. To view the playlist, they can click view playlist or click the image. And when they do this, they go to the playlist page. You can see here the thumbnails for the videos. When you click on one of these, it then takes you to the player and they can go through and watch all the bits of content that you have put into your playlist. 
just heading back to the playlist page and then back to the movement membership product page. So if you had multiple playlists, this is where they would display. They would display in the playlist section and I'll show you what that looks like shortly. So I'm now going to show you how to manage your playlists. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to create a new playlist that is not a featured playlist so you can see how that displays. Then I'll show you how to add new content to an existing playlist, change a featured playlist, delete a playlist, reorder your content within a playlist and create a playlist where the content only displays in your playlist and not in the rest of your products media library. Okay, so we head back to our teaching dashboard and into the movement membership product because that's where we're at. And I'm going to select a few different videos. So I'm going to select this one here and here. And you'll see now that there's an additional option to add to a playlist. When you click add to playlist, you select the playlist you want to add the content to from the drop down menu. For example, you might have multiple series with different names, such as a meditation series, or you've got a core workout series, or you've got a specific nutrition 101 series. Then you could add those videos into that specific playlist by selecting it from the drop down menu. So in this case, I want to create a new playlist. I'm going to go through the same process I did previously. So I've named my new playlist. I've created a new image. If I wanted to feature this playlist, all I do is select featured included content and a message will display asking me if I want to replace the featured playlist. It tells you which playlist is currently featured as well. I'm not going to replace the featured playlist at this point, but I am going to create my new playlist. And when I do that, you can see that the new playlist is showing up in the playlist section. So now I'm going to go to my preview page and refresh it. You'll see that this week's classes is still set as the featured playlist. However, when I go into the playlist tab, you can see that both of the playlists are there and it's clear that the this week's classes is the current featured playlist. It's got the little tag there, a little label there. Let's look at how to remove a playlist. It really is quite simple. We head back into the product and simply click the trash can icon. A message appears to ask if we're sure we want to delete the playlist. So I'm going to delete this playlist from the product, click save, and then I am going to head back into the preview mode, refresh the page, and you will see that the playlist is removed. Okay, so let's edit a playlist. So again, heading back into the teacher dashboard, Click on the playlist that you want to edit. From here, you can change the order of your videos or your media. You can also remove the media that you don't want anymore by clicking the trash can icon. You can add media and this takes you to your full media library. So from here, you can actually add directly from your media library to your playlist and the content that you add will also display in your included content section. I'll show you shortly how to only show content in a playlist and not in your included content. But I'm going to add this video, Meditation 101. And there it is. You can also go into settings and you can change your cover image, uh, playlist name, and you can also uncheck featured and included content if you wish. You can also delete the playlist from here as well. Finally, if you want to create a playlist where the videos do not show in the rest of your library, then what you do is you create your playlist as you did before. So I'm going to select a couple of videos here. Which ones will I choose? I'll go for this one here and this one here and create playlist. I'm going to call this playlist uh, 
yoga for dancers and I'm going to create an image and then create the playlist. And then I delete those two videos that are in my yoga for dancers playlist from here. So I just click the trash can and it will delete each one of those. I think it was this one here. It will keep those deleted videos in my playlist, but it will not show those videos in my included content. So I'm now going to save the product and head back to preview my page. And I'll just click refresh here as well. Just refresh the page. And then in the playlist section, you'll see yoga for dancers there. When I view the playlist, you'll see that the two videos are there. But when I head back to my included content, you will see that the videos are no longer in the included content. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial on playlists. It's been an absolute pleasure to take you through this fabulous feature. But if you do have more questions, please contact us at team at heymarvelous.com. Remember to give that like button some love and to subscribe to this channel and turn notifications on so that you're kept up to date with all our latest videos. Radio, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.